Hey guys, it's Allie with Imperfect Pages, and I know I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot on Instagram besides just photo posts, so I thought I would check in. Julia, my cat, is rubbing against the tripod, so that's why you guys are moving. Come here, kitten. Come say hi. This is the troublemaker. Um, I thought I would stop in and do a little quick update on my Create December. Uh, this is the journal that I'm using at the moment. Uh, I just started this November 24th, so Black Friday. Um, my other one I filled up on Thanksgiving, like my last page on Thanksgiving, and then started this one. Uh, normally with my journals, I like to start with something fresh at the beginning of the year. Uh, but this year, I'm trying something different. I wanted to wrap up my end of the year reflections and set intentions for 2024 and then now... I should have known that would happen I'll maybe edit that out maybe I won't we'll see um, but yeah this is what I'm using to wrap up the end of the year and then to start 2024 Juliet please don't knock it over no 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 stop anyway um, this is just a notebook from Walmart. It's a pin and gear journal. It's got 192 pages. I think this will carry me through December and then probably all of January. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I have started my Create December. Uh, here is my December cover page. Uh, it's not finished yet. I need to go back and outline the bronze with some shadows and then maybe do something down here in this space and add my calendar over here and this is the start of my create december and i've got the printout with all the prompts over here and then i have started the first prompt uh, december forest i need to go back in with colored pencil and add in my details um, but i kind of want to do like a wintry foresty landscape like if you've seen the twilight movies that's the like the 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 landscape shot of the trees that's what i'm going for here uh but yeah and then on i think for the i did wow i've had too many cups of caffeinated beverages this morning so bear with me um i did set aside the 30 32 pages and you can see where i've marked the end of the 32 pages with a tab here but what I'm going to do is dedicate one page per prompt and kind of see how that works for me. Um, I've penciled in the days, but this may change just depending on how much time and energy I have slash want to put into the prompts. Because I want to create every day in December, but I also work part-time and I'm a full-time student, so... I want to make sure that I have reasonable expectations for myself. So yeah, I just, I did write in the prompt for tomorrow and for uh, the third. And then after that, I haven't filled in the days. I just numbered them. Um, my plan is if I'm inspired by a prompt that I know is coming up, like say, um, I kind of have an idea for what I want to do for day 10, which is the cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I may go ahead and start doing my sketch and my little bit of writing for what I want to do for that day, since I already have like the inspiration and the momentum for it. So I don't really want to restrict myself, but I don't want to get too carried away either. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a cute little quick little update on that. Um, I'm really excited. I've tried to participate in Create December in the past, and it just hasn't worked for me. Um, but this year's prompts, I think, are a little more open-ended, so it's going to make it easier to participate, if that makes sense. Um, and Heather and Bree have done a great job of Hyping, hyping everyone up with their live videos and their posts. And I've seen a couple other people. I think Ashley um, also posted an Instagram about her Create December prompts and ideas. 
she's doing a comp book and I kind of wish I was doing a comp book but that's okay maybe next year um I think this will be a lot more manageable for me this year but yeah that's kind of kind of where I'm at I do think I have picked my 2024 word of the year um I was in the waiting room at therapy yesterday and it just kind of I was scrolling through Instagram and a word popped up and it just feels right and I'm not gonna say what it is yet because I'm still pondering it but I'm really excited and I think I'm like 99% sure it's gonna be my word of the year so I am gonna sit with it for the rest of December and kind of kind of work my way through what it means to me and what energy I think that would carry into 2024 for me so yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about December and my creative practice for December is really inspiring right now and I'm looking forward to it and I think this year I'm going to end on a strong note. Last year in December I was feeling in a bit of a rough place mentally and I feel like this year I'm maybe feeling a little more stable and uh, yeah, it's just, it's really exciting and I don't know. We'll see what December brings and I wish you guys all the best for the holidays and for the new year and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Bye!